Catherine from Cascade Sciences, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our uh, bath line, our water bath line. So we have standard water baths, our deep water bath, and our lab armor bead baths. Water baths are the most common piece of laboratory equipment in any lab. Oftentimes people think that microscopes are the most common. Not so. Water baths are extremely useful. So uh, anything that needs to remain at body temperature, which is 37 degrees C. So biological samples that are taken, um, throat culture, wound swab, blood cultures, things like that that need to remain at room temperature are going to stay in here until they're plated and put into an incubator. Um, frozen biological samples like blood or plasma will be thawed out gently in a water bath before um, being introduced intravenously to a patient. So very common uses there. Um, in an industrial lab, um, highly viscous liquids at room temperature are going to be heated so that they're easier to work with. Lots of really good applications for a water bath. The downside of a water bath is that it's the number one source of contamination in the lab. If you think about it, you have a bath that's wet and at room temperature. That's a swamp. And these are all full of illness and despair. So you've got all of this stuff in the bath, incubating in the bath, and then you're going to pick it up and carry it and drip that mess all around the lab while you go. Well, we have worked with microbiologists to develop the lab armor bath beads. Instead of putting water in a water bath, we put in these highly polished aluminum beads, um, and we've done a ton of testing on this. We have 30, we'll do over 30 temperature probes in the bath in all different locations. And what we found is that, that it has the same, if not better, thermal performance as water. So in terms of heat up time, same as water. Temperature uniformity, the same as water. And in the event of a power outage, this actually performs better with water because the aluminum beads develop more thermal mass and they stay warmer a little bit longer. The other nice thing about these beads is they have a naturally oxidative surface. And oxidative surfaces are naturally antimicrobial. So these are antimicrobial um, and they don't evaporate. A lot of people leave their water bath on over the weekend. It has water in it, it has samples, it dries up. Now these are sitting maybe leaning against the sides or the bottom, sitting on hot spots, you've ruined your samples. So that's not going to happen, doesn't need to be refilled, no contamination, no evaporation. So these beads are fantastic. The most practical reason that these beads are great is for the versatility for different size flasks. So in a standard water bath, you have a flask rack or a test tube rack or weights for every different size item that you might put in the bath so that things don't float away or tip over or what have you. Well, with the beads, you can just press them in there and go. It's really fantastic, super easy, and we love it. And any bath, any water bath from any manufacturer can be turned into a bead bath just by using beads instead of water. So feel free to call us, we sell those things separately. Looking at the control panel, um, I have this bath set right now and it's gone up to its set point. So you can push either of the up or down arrows, it'll flash SP for set point and then flash your set point. While it's flashing, you're able to adjust the set point up or down. It flashes for a minute to verify that that's your number and then once it's on, it shows you the actual process temperature. This small, uh, the pilot light under the power switch is always on when this is engaged full on. The heating light is not always engaged. So the heating light is very smart. When the heaters are activated, it'll flash. Right now, the set point is equal to the process temperature in the bath. So this little pilot light is blinking very, very nominally, just small little blinks, which shows you that the controller is pulsing heat into the bath to maintain the temperature. When the set point is far away from the current process temp, this, and I'll, and I'll show you that right now, so if the set point is quite a bit farther away from the process temperature, what you'll see is that the pilot light will go on full demonstrating that it's asking for 100% heater power. 
This little knob right here is called a mushroom knob and it's a, an internationally recognized safety knob because you can't really twist it yourself. You can't walk by it and brush it. It can't be easily adjusted. That's by design. So this is the over temperature protection. It has its own probe and thermocouple. And should there ever be a situation where this controller for whatever reason runs away or the elements um, short to ground and take off or something like that, this will act as a fail safe controller, stop the heating and hold at the, te at the original temperature set point. The way you set it, is with a coin or a broad screwdriver. It comes from the factory all the way open. That's at the highest setting, which means it's all the way out of the way and likely not um, providing much safety at that wide open mark. What you do is you roll it back until you hear a little click and the light goes on. That tells you that it's engaged. Since I'm at the set point already, I'm gonna roll it forward a little bit until that light goes off and I'm gonna leave that set right there. So it's a few degrees, it's about, um, on a circle, you move it forward about 10 degrees. Those aren't temperature degrees, those are geometry degrees. So you move it forward a little bit and that's where it's going to stay. That's going to be the same on all of our baths. Um, this is one of our standard water baths. It goes up to 20 liters in size, has this, um, vaulted cover for condensation and then a stand so that when you take the cover off the condensation drips right back into the bath and doesn't cause any mess at all and this is one that i really love for botanical extraction labs this is our deep well um, water bath it is excellent for food safe um, food contact safe uh, polypropylene or um, other uh, food safe buckets, five gallon buckets fit in here. This is about a week of laundry in my family. We have this bucket retainer. This is an important feature because it's going to center the bucket right in the sweet spot for the heat, not allow it to touch the sides uh, where it could maybe get a hot spot. And it's going to prevent some condensation by acting as a, a little lid right there. Um, a lot of people said Cascade is, you know, pro tools, pro results. Why aren't we advertising this with a stainless bucket? Well, number one, because none of you all use a stainless bucket. Number two, a stainless bucket is heavy and expensive. And when this is filled with five gallons of distillate, and if it was stainless steel, um, that would be cumbersome and difficult to move around. Also, we're ready for these to be lidded and shipped all over the place. So we definitely like the FDA rated um, food contact safe plastic bucket in this application. We're going to match this with an overhead homogenizer. Put your ingredients for a lotion salve tincture in here. We're going to do nano emulsification with the Kinematica homogenizer on a special stand right here under temperature so that we have that really good um, warm oil that we can mix and get that shelf stable emulsification. So these are our baths. Uh, feel free to give us a call if you'd like to upgrade your existing baths to bead baths or if you want to find out more about our deep water bath or how you can start using these in your lab. Thanks so much. Find us on CascadeSciences.com.